The Gravetians were a significant Upper Paleolithic culture, flourishing in Europe around 33 to 25,000 years ago. Known for their sophisticated hunting and survival techniques, they lived predominantly in open landscapes and took shelter in caves or constructed seasonal camps in areas rich with game. Their subsistence strategy was centered around hunting large mammals, such as mammoths, bison and reindeer, supplemented by plant foraging. Gravetians employed specialized tools, including stone points and blade tools, and are notable for introducing the gravet point, a sharp blade used for hunting. Gravetians practiced social networking across regions, as seen by their distribution of similar artifacts across vast distances, suggesting interactions between various different groups. Although they are not known for pottery, as pottery only emerged much later, the Gravetians are renowned for their creation of symbolic art and figurines, especially the so-called Venus figurines. These statuettes, typically made from bone, ivory or stone, depict stylized female forms with exaggerated features, possibly symbolizing fertility, womanhood or spiritual beliefs. Gravetian burials reveal a reverence for their dead, with bodies sometimes interred with grave goods such as beads, jewelry and tools, indicating ritualistic practices or a belief in an afterlife. The Gravetians contributed significantly to the genetic and cultural heritage of later European and Eurasian populations. For this video I gathered the genomes of 8 Gravetian DNA samples and ran them through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. Links to purchase the raw DNA samples as well as the, the tool are in the description of the video. The most common predicted phenotype among the 8 samples was Australoid, with 5 out of 8 samples being predicted to be Australoids. One sample scored a Pamidid phenotype, one sample scored an Alpinid, and one sample scored an Amerindian phenotype. 7 out of 8 samples were predicted to have dark brown eye color, and one sample was predicted to have brown eyes. Every sample out of 8 scored black hair as their predicted hair color. 7 out of 8 samples were predicted to have light brown skin tone, and 1 sample was predicted to have an olive skin tone. Every hair texture was equally common, with 2 samples scoring straight, 2 samples scoring wavy, 2 samples scoring curly, and 2 samples scoring kinky hair as their predicted hair textures. Snub nose shape was more common than Greek nose shape, with 3 samples out of 8 scoring a snub nose shape. 6 out of 8 samples had a high predisposition to male pattern boldness, and 1 sample had a low predisposition to male pattern boldness. 2 samples were predisposed to be significantly taller than average, and 1 sample was predicted to be significantly shorter than average. 5 out of the 8 samples were carriers for hemoglobin E disease risk variants, 1 out of samples had a high predisposition to migraine, and 4 samples had a high predisposition to gout. This is very curious as I have noticed that West Eurasians have a tendency to score lower odds of gout with trait predictor. 3 out of 8 samples had low odds of eczema, 2 samples had low odds of polycystic ovary syndrome, and 3 samples had low odds of age-related macular degeneration. 4 samples also scored high odds of age-related macular degeneration. 2 samples scored low odds of Tourette's. 4 samples scored low odds of epilepsy, and 2 samples scored high odds of asthma. The samples had an intermediate predisposition to myopia overall, with 2 samples scoring high odds and 1 sample scoring low odds of myopia. 3 samples also scored high odds for primary biliary cirrhosis, and 2 samples scored low. Regarding atrial fibrillation and certain common cardiovascular issues like strokes and aneurysms, cardiovascular issues were overall less common among the group with 3 samples scoring low odds and no samples scoring high odds. 2 samples scored high odds for atrial fibrillation and 2 samples scored low odds for atrial fibrillation. Regarding the woody odd versus woody air trait, the Gravetians seem to fall roughly intermediate between the two phenotypes with 3 samples being predicted to be woody airs and 2 samples woody ores. Regarding D2 receptor availability, 2 of the Gravetians were predicted to have more D2 receptor sites and 6 were predicted to have an intermediate D2 receptor site uh, availability. This leads to higher odds of schizophrenia and bipolar and lower odds of ADHD. Speaking of some common mental health conditions, the Gravetians had intermediate or average odds of ADHD, depression and high odds of bipolar 1. 
3 of the 8 gravitian samples were predicted to have high predisposition to type 2 diabetes, 3 samples had also high, and 3 samples had low odds for Alzheimer's disease. 2 of the 8 samples had no predisposition to any rare condition. Out of the 6 samples that had risk variance for rare conditions, 3 had risk variance for Parkinson's disease and 2 had risk variance for myosclerosis. The Glavetians had a predisposition to higher odds of autism and none of them carried the European variance for lactase persistence. The Glavetians had a predisposition to an intermediate level of empathy on the basis of OXTR genotypes, with 7 samples scoring intermediate level of empathy and 1 sample scoring higher level of empathy. The Glavetians were very athletic, with 6 samples carrying the CC genotype in ACTN3's R577X, leading to higher athletic performance and sprinting ability, and only one sample carried the DT or XX genotype. The Glavetians had an average predisposition to epithelial cancers on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes. Glavetians had a low predisposition to polycythemia vera on the basis of JAK2 genotypes and average odds of leukemia. Gravetians have averages of breast cancer, very high odds of glioma or, or brain cancer, high odds of thyroid cancer, and high odds of testicular cancer on the basis of KTOG genotypes. 3 out of the 8 samples had a high predisposition to allergies. 7 of the 8 samples were predisposed to have lower odds of autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. Overall, this shows an average or slightly below average predisposition to autoimmune disease. Nonetheless, the frequency of risk variance for NK losing spondylitis was very common in them. Additionally, the samples were also strongly predisposed to rheumatoid arthritis, but not to type 1 diabetes or multiple sclerosis, which are autoimmune conditions more common in Northern Europeans today. The Gravetian samples were predisposed to intermediate homocysteine levels with just one sample scoring higher predicted homocysteine levels. Seven samples scored average and one sample scored lower odds of obesity. The samples had a strong predisposition to lowered odds of syncope and no sample was predicted to have hemochromatosis. Almost all the samples had low red blood cell count with only one sample scoring elevated red blood cell count. Four samples had longer and four samples had shorter telomeres, so overall it seems that the Gravetians were predicted to have an intermediate length of telomeres and intermediate biological lifespan. The Gravetians had a strong predisposition to high LDL cholesterol, which is bad, and low vitamin D levels, which is also bad. The most common blood type among the Gravetians was type O, and one sample was predicted to have blood type A. No sample was predicted to have blood types B or AB. Thank you for watching until the end. Make sure you check the description for useful links and like and share the video if you enjoyed it. Bye.